Cut it, little boy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome David Strassman! Hi everybody and welcome to the show. Daniel, how you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Loser. Quiet. <laughs> A very weird thing has been happening, and is it weirder than this? What? Ooh, 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 stop it. <laughs> no, Chuck, you've been getting mail. Really? That's right. That's it. Yeah. From me? Yeah. Money? No. Audio pictures? No. Burn them. People are writing here asking for advice. Really? My advice is to send money and naughty pictures. Chuck. <laughs> no one is going to send you naughty pictures. And send me money, I'll buy my own naughty pictures. Look, we've got a couple letters, a whole stack over there. We want to read one. Advice to me. Well, they're asking you for advice. Daniel, pull out a letter there, anyone. It doesn't matter. You good? We'll read one. Here you go. While you're down there. Quiet. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's see here. This is uh, from Manchester. I'm flying to the United States. Want to know where the best place to sit on a flight attendant's lap. <laughs> and please don't do that old joke about sitting on the flight attendant's lap. That was a good joke. Homo. <laughs> I heard that. What? The guy predicts you make a joke and you call him a homo? I don't want to hear that homophobic garbage. Okay. Gee. <laughs> Read the letter. Dear Chuck. Sister. <laughs> that is a very derogatory remark. If the condom fits. Chuck! <laughs> What two people do in the privacy of their bedroom is their business, and love comes in all forms. For you, it comes after you flash a hundred dollar bill. Okay, forget it. Forget it. No, no, I want to help this guy. All right. It's a woman. No, I want to help this woman. Let's go. <laughs> I will not tolerate your intolerance. That was slick. Hold your tongue and say, my mother has a nice purse. Chuck! <laughs> Dear Chuck. I'm flying to the United States. I want to know where the best place to sit. And please don't do that old joke about sitting on the flight attendant's lap. I want to know which are the seats with the best view. The ones by the windows. No, no. The seats, uh, you know, things to watch while you're flying. Yeah, the movies always suck. <laughs> things to watch outside the plane. Like the engine catching on fire when you're going down to hell. <laughs> so, well, it brings us to the second part of the letter. Where is the safest place to sit? In a little black box. <laughs> And please don't use that old joke about sitting in the black box. I'll do another joke. Two homos walk into a box. Chuck? <laughs> do you know where the safest place to sit? Uh, in the back. Why the back? On the front part of the plane, falls into a mountain, you have time to jump clear. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ever heard of the plane backing into a mountain? <laughs> That's no reason to sit in the back of the plane. In the front. Why the front? When the plane goes into a nosedive, the drink trolley moves in the front and get your last meal first. <laughs> you don't know where the best place to sit. Yes, I do. Where? It's safer to sit inside the plane. <laughs> Look, I think this woman is just afraid of flying and wants some reassurance. Okay, here's how you can tell your flight is going well. How? Watch the flight attendant. Yeah? If they are uh, buckling up in the middle of the flight, get nervous. They go through the drink cart, start paying. If two flight attendants are shagging each other, you're going down. <laughs> My musical director, Daniel Rosen. Hey, everybody! That's from, uh, hey, how hey. you doing? I'm doing fine. Hey, little Hitler. Little Hitler? <laughs> if I'm little Hitler, you're Poland. Thanks. <laughs> I'm marching on you tomorrow. Chuck, <laughs> What have you got for us? Uh, well, actually, you... I wrote a song just for you, Chuck. I don't want to hear it. Get me oh, out of here. you'll love it. It's sort of a love song. I'm leaving. <laughs> right. oh, oh, yeah. Like that? Oh. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, cool. Oh, Watch it. Oh, no, no, not there. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, watch out for the swimmer. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. It was Handy Andy. My first guest tonight is one of Britain's most colorful characters. He owns a stately home, he has lions in his backyard, and he's got linen crawling out of the woodwork. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> pleasure to welcome the Marquis of Bath. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, Chuck. Hello. Uh, what do I call you, Lord Shire? Alexander. Can I call you Your Highness? Uh, well, 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 How do I think? The public opinion might be your lowness at the moment. Oh, really? I think so. You're one of the country's best known peers. I'm sure that the other peers watching television at the moment would be saying, how dare you say that? They're better known. Um, uh, it's all disputable. Has Julian Clary ever performed on the end of you? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm not... No, I've actually met you. The, the name of uh, your, your estate is called Longleaf. Yes. I would love to visit it one day. I've seen you have fantastic mazes and... The love maze, that is the labyrinth of love. We try to keep it all alliterated. The, 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 li the labyrinth of love. Linden, Linden, Linden. As you go around the love maze, or, uh, you, you will see things which have yet to grow up to, to show what they are. And I'm always having to be some nudge and I think you see what that is and I, um, uh, I don't actually see it. Is it naughty? Yet. Does the gardener trim it or shave it? <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, a bunch of ladies, I guess uh, a harem. I, uh, what would you call it? Uh, well, I'm all, my ambition is to have a harem, but as soon as I've got it, you know, the count never quite gets up to it. It's always one slip to it and I've not got my harem and anymore. Do you, these, these women that you have, uh, they are your girlfriends, your, your wives, uh, uh, what, would you, what would you call it? White bits is what I, I call them. How many white bits do you have? Uh, it's always Ten. single figures. Single figures? Yeah. How many white bits make a hole? <laughs> a, 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 a hole? Do they lie together and suckle? <laughs> <laughs> um, I read that you discovered sex at kind of a late age. It was uh, 20 years old. Yes, I was. I was a late developer, yes, indeed. To the relief of your right hand, yes. <laughs> uh, <I'll keep> <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, how, how old are you at, at this point in time? You're 66? 66, yes. Are you still recruiting white lips? Uh, uh, this particular... Yes, it, it, it is. A, it, Always. It's a non, uh, yes, I mean, the, the, it's an ongoing process, yes. What do you say? Hi, I'm Lord Shag. Do you fancy a bath? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I wait to be spotted and then hope they'll put me in their bath. And you actually advertised in Dateline for Wifeless at one point in time. Um, well, when you say advertised, I, I, I did go through Dateline, yeah. I can see that the ad, single female, loves animals, willing to take turns. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, in, the in theory, it must be the right way that you shall put all your details down in full honesty, full candor on that computer, and that computer is cupid. And, uh, but he, he, he wasn't such a good cupid. Are you sexually active? <laughs> At 66? Yes. What are you, snorting Viagra? I was... <laughs> I not yet had uh, Viagra, but I'm, it's, uh, when it begins to pain, I shall certainly take yes. Viagra. How many fucks do you get to the pill? <laughs> How many fucks to a pill? <laughs> Don't even <laughs> listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> are you writing a book? Oh, I'm writing an autobiography, yes. Um, that, well, I, I wrote a journal ever since 1954 uh, and that I'm now translating into, a, into an autobiography Fantastic. where it's all revealed. And when shall we uh, expect that release? Uh, in the end of March, I think it is, that uh, the first six volumes are going up. So six that... volumes? Well, Aren't you going to edit books? it? Um, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, <laughs> it's okay, it's hard for you to understand what he says sometimes. <laughs> what are you, deaf? Chuck, stop it. You know, uh, uh, too much sexual activity ruins your hearing. <laughs> well, as long as it's only that, I'll settle for it. What? Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> I can't believe you're sexually active at 66. <laughs> I thought the same when I was six. Yes. My but goodness. I do find that it goes on longer. <laughs> 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 what is your ultimate fantasy? One well-populated bed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Marquis is back. <laughs> This is the part of the show when the audience, oh my God, what? It's him. What? Him. What are you talking about? That guy. What? Oh, oh man. Excuse me, sir. Sir, would you just mind standing up for a second? Not you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I'm a nice pet, right? He certainly doesn't sound like him. No. 
Hey, when you have sex, do you yell, oh, dad, oh, dad? <laughs> no. I'm telling you, I'm not Jesus. Can you do a miracle? No, no, I'm just saying something. Well, you have an uncanny resemblance. Thank you very much. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Stratford, uh, yes. that's uh, okay. Uh, would you mind if I sang a song? Not that uh, superstar crap. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no. I'd like to be away in a manger. Go for it, dude. Thank you. Appendix. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Teddy Bear. <laughs> Say hello, Teddy. How you doing? <laughs> What's the matter? Same old thing. What's that? Can't say. Why not? Cause. Cause why? Can't say. Well, tell me what's the matter. I'm embarrassed, Dave. <laughs> Why are you embarrassed? Because I'm naked. <laughs> I got a bare bottom. But you're a teddy bear. You're covered with fur. Not everywhere. Teddy, <laughs> tell me what's the matter. Chuck was picking on me again. He was. Look. What? What happened here? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Teddy, you have an injury here. This is unbelievable. Oh. Tell me what happened. How did this happen, Teddy? Tell me exactly, Teddy, how, how did this happen? Teddy? <laughs> I can't get it. Here. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Teddy, tell, tell me, how did you hurt your paw? Huh? How'd you hurt your paw? I didn't hurt him. He's okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. How did you injure your paw? I didn't hurt him, Dave. Teddy, <laughs> how'd you do that? Huh? <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. 
Look, Teddy, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, look right here at your arm and the bandage. How did that happen? Oh, I injured my paw. <laughs> and how did you injure your paw? I didn't hurt him, Dave. <laughs> we'll be here all fucking night. Hey. <laughs> you watch your little mouth. Tell me what happened. How'd you get this injury here? Chuck did it. He, he, it was last night. I was trying to go to sleep. He snuck in my room. He poured a coke on my head. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a diet coke. I was all wet. He says, you're all wet. I said, I know. He said, I'm going to dry you off. I said, okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have said okay. <laughs> what did he do? He grabbed my arm and twisted it. He kicked me down the stairs. Then he put me in the... In the... The microwave. <laughs> Put you in the microwave oven and turned it on high. <laughs> Teddy, what happened? <sighs> I exploded. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're telling me Chuck put you in the microwave oven. He put you in that little portable oven that barely holds a sandwich. He fits you in there. <laughs> Teddy. He did that? <laughs> I want the truth. Did this happen? <laughs> Teddy, did this happen or not? <laughs> Teddy, 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 Teddy. Did this happen or not? Oh. So you lied? <laughs> I want the truth. How did you injure your paw? I didn't hurt him, Dave. Getting a lot of mileage out of that joke. You be quiet. Tell me the truth. The truth? Yes. Well, I was hunting crocs in New Guinea, Teddy. I was playing for Chelsea. No. I'm not going to get hurt that way. They suck. <laughs> I want the truth. I was playing for Millwall. Oh! Hurt my paw. Oh! Hurt my paw. My next guest is one of the most glamorous presenters on television today. And she's a real darling. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Julia Carlin. <laughs> Him. I, I love so you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I'm so glad it was you and all that horrible piece of wood, Chuck. Can I have a hug? <laughs> I think oh, you were cleaning nice. at the time. Can I have another one? Okay, no, one That's enough. enough. How you doing? Hi, very well. How are you? You recently worked with George Hamilton. I did. How gorgeous was that? George, he likes to be called. Yeah, well, he is gorgeous. I mean, he's, uh, he's okay. permatan. He's, okay. he's clean. <laughs> He uses what I use. No, you don't use that tanning stuff. No, I use shaking that. <laughs> now, your latest TV project is yes. Julia Carling's Style Guide. What, what sort of things does that cover? Style. Oh. <laughs> What's your secret? Well, can I just say, I've had a bottom lift. Really? It's gone up an inch. Can you come a little closer? <laughs> Really? It is like Sur surgery? No, but you get or, or exercise? No, I don't do exercise. I it's don't either. No, it's not good for you, you're pretty bad. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to do some exercise with you. Quiet. <laughs> um, you had a bottom lift. A and, bottom lift? And how, what do they do? Oh, it's fantastic. They lift your bottom. They lift your bottom. <laughs> what? They Teddy, stop. <laughs> they use a very sort of crucial machine on your legs and they just sort of, sort of squelch all the horrible bits up like the rack they stretch it. <laughs> <laughs> so all that silly light gets sort of sucked away fantastic I don't say it. that word around me quiet <laughs> will you tell him to be quiet you tell him to be quiet no it's you'll you'll gob on me or something like that i don't like it that's not all i'll do he's chuck rude please he's <laughs> you're naughty <laughs> he has no style but you potentially have 
Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. 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 Now, didn't you run the London Marathon I wearing know, only jogging shorts <laughs> and a wonder bra? An uplifting <gasps> bra. I'd like to see that video. <laughs> I heard you, the pants weren't the only thing doing the jogging. Chuck, be quiet. Can he go? Uh, Chuck, why don't you get up and leave? <laughs> I can't move my legs. <laughs> yes, I could do the marathon. Right. And just for a, uh, a publicity was, stunt, yeah, if you're not no, a runner? No, it wasn't. It was for, for breakthrough breast cancer. So oh, hence right. the bra. Right. And there were 26 girls, and we all walked within our bras. And so you raised, raised money for charity. Huge amounts of money. That's great. Fantastic, but I never want to do it again. <laughs> Considering all you've been through uh, in your highly publicized life, how come yeah. you haven't changed your name? How come I have? I did change my name. I changed my name when I got married. I like married. Julia. <laughs> do, you do you like it? Yeah. I could call it Julia Bear. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah. You and me? Yeah. I need a ring here. No. Do you feel sorry for Will Carlin? Do I feel sorry for him? Well, it's his own life, isn't it? You see, you know. I think, but you know Who's what? Will Carlin. <laughs> exactly. See your daddy. <laughs> did he hurt you? He hurt my did you? heart. Did he? Yeah. What you wouldn't do? do that, would you? No. No. What do you do? Oh, I open house. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have a new man in your life? I have. Very, very happy. And very what, what happy. does he do? He runs a record company. Oh, right. So you could be in a band. Yeah. He likes Teddy Bear very much. Wasn't he just seen leaving the Harbour Club with a clean mother? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Enough, Chuck. He's getting a bit of a belly on him. Yeah. You do that again. <laughs> Teddy doesn't drink. I don't do it lower down. She's naughty. <laughs> She's in the spankings, too. That's enough. Sir. It's been a pleasure talking. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, the darling you. Julia Carlin. <laughs> My thanks to Julia Carlin and Lord Barry. We'll be back next week with some amazing guests. Hey, 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 Dave. I'm supposed to have my guest spot, remember? Hi, Teddy. I love you. Oh, I love you, too. That's Julia. You said you love me. <laughs> I wrote a song. I wrote a song. Well, the show is over, you know? But I, but well, our deal, I'm supposed to do a guest spot. Should we let, uh, I want to yeah. see it. Should yeah. we let Daniel do it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. Daniel Rosen. Cool. girl of mine, I love her so, I never want to let her go. I gave her a hug, she let out a sigh, I squeezed her so hard, I popped out her eye. Her only eye. I am her one-eyed girl, I loved her so, she didn't want to see me go. She said, come back, and if you do, I'll always keep an eye out for you. Good night, everybody. See you all next week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hey, Chuck, where's Dave? Oh, man, he's drunk. He's drunk again? Yep. You mean he won't come around? He will if you throw a bucket of water on him. <laughs> Trust me.